and welcome back to the Hobbyman UK channel. Today on my workbench I have a 120 scale Machina Krieger Gustav uh, and as you can see from the date this is a, uh, a reissue by Nito uh, back in 1997. Uh, a fascinating history um, for these kits and design and uh, I'll put a link uh, or a description below of uh, detailing that. Now this is a series 5 model and uh, as you can see it's also um, because it was a reissue during the 90s, it has uh, a sticker on there, um, which I believe they sort of upgraded or changed the uh, decals. Um, this is a sealed one, so it's uh, never been opened before. It's still sealed from the 1990s. So, let's have a look at the back of the box. Some beautiful artwork there from uh, Mr. Yokoyama. Very cool, detailing the actual suit. Uh, a very unusual translation of uh, Japanese to English really that um, make much sense but uh, so yeah but beautiful boxes and uh, there's going to be quite a few of these uh, featuring on the channel I've got quite a few of these to, to look at um, but uh, yeah so today's video is to look at this one here so let's have a look inside right then that's the box open I'm going to have a look inside now so one uh, first thing up we've got is a, a sprue there containing a uh, the torso and head as a figure that will uh, feature inside this suit, the pilot. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. There's a bag containing several sprues there, making up the main part of the actual kit itself. There's also another small bag which contains some metal parts, the grill and the hoses. Very good. We then have uh, the clear parts, which will seem very good condition. That's the new decal sheet, I'd imagine. Oh, back then, anyway. So that's very good. There's also, I think, yeah, there's two cards here showing one in colour there, showing the designs you can choose from, and another one there in black and white. Um, there's also a blown out drawing there. Very good. So those are those two there. And then we have a set of instructions by Alex Things. Yep, set of instructions which show the kit completely blown out there. So you can see all the parts. And also there. So yeah, it's very easy to, to follow. It's in English. Um, yeah, there's English, so that helps. There's English there. So yeah, quite a good instruction leaflet. So let's have a, a closer look at the uh, the bags. Okay, well that's the bag open with the main parts in. Um, so we'll have a look at each sprue here. And um, yeah, very clean. Um, not really many visible mould lines. I think uh, even then it was ahead of its time really in kit design. Um, and very well manufactured. I can't really tell you which parts these are without sort of looking at the diagram there, but uh, very good, very good. And uh, there's the other one, showing the main torso there, some hands there. Incredible detail, really. Um, becoming even more popular, these kits are now. So, yeah, very, very smart. I said, very interesting history with these. Um, like I said, I'll put that in the description. But um, there's now um, newer releases now by a company called Hasegawa. Um, there have been some by a company called Wave. And uh, there's various other manufacturers that will produce resin uh, sort of figures to fit inside the cockpits or to sort of stand next to the your finished uh, model. Um, so hopefully I'll feature some of those in the future. But yeah, looking at this, it's very impressive actually. Certainly for something that's uh, this old, it's uh, very, very good, very good indeed. Let's have a closer look at this actual pilot figure there. So yeah, pretty good for plastic. But like I say, there are some, you know, you can uh, you can get some resin uh, heads now and sort of upper torsos to fit in the cockpit if you wish, or like I say, a full figure. Um, but yeah, very, very good. Zoom in a bit there. Get the camera. Oh, the camera now. Get that 
camera to focus in today. There we go. There's a fair bit of detail there. Very, very good. The uh, clear parts, absolutely immaculate. After that sort of period of time being stuck in the box, so yeah, very, very good. And then the decals, I'll take them out of the bag. Very, very good as well. Well, you don't have to use these. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's a science fiction kit, but um, you know, it's the details are there, along with some helpful guides there, of, you know, color if you wish to follow that. But um, it's open to your own interpretation, really. But yeah, it's very excellent. And then we have the final bag here of some hoses, which I'll actually open on camera, um, which is nice because I mean, you know, some of the kits you get now, you have to sort of pay extra for your um, the metal parts anyway. But this is very, very nice. So there's some clear parts. I'm not quite sure what they're for. You can comment below if you know. And then we have this really, really very smart uh, metal hoses there. There you go. It's just basically springs. But, um, you know, add to the charm and the detail of these kits. So that's very, very good. Lovely bit of... Uh, Brash mesh there, for sort of the engine cover. So very, very good. And some more copper parts there, and another plastic part. So yeah, but I mean these kits, you know, um, obviously this particular one isn't manufactured anymore, um, but you can find them at model shows and on eBay, and um, yeah, there's quite a few of them out there. Just got to keep looking for them. Um, but like I say, there's some new ones out from Hasegawa, um, and uh, yeah, I you know um, I've quite a collection of these that'll be up and coming on the, the channel, and um, so yeah, so that's the Machine Krieger Gustav. This is the 120 scale uh, series five, and um, there you go. So thank you very much for joining me this week, and I'll see you again in another video. Goodbye. <laughs>